खुद यहां आया हूं कोटली भी शामिल तो मैं आज कह रहा हूं आपको आई लव यू टू और मरी मरी को कह रहा हूं मरी आई लव यू और लोगों को कह रहा हूं आई लव यू आई लव यू टू इफ यू लव मी नवाज शरीफ ऑल्सो लव यू आपको So Sharif and Bhutto are campaigning, and Imran Khan, well, still in jail. Chances are he'll be there for a long time because this weekend he was convicted again, and you won't believe why. A local court says Imran Khan's marriage is quote unquote un-Islamic. So he and his wife have been sentenced to prison for how long? Seven years each, and we thought we'd seen it all. Nonetheless, his party is motoring on. Their campaign videos show a sizable support base. Development number two: Pakistan's election commission has finally woken up. It has decided to rein in the caretaker regime. They were planning a big move, the caretaker government. They were planning to sell Pakistan's flag carrier, the PIA, the Pakistan International Airlines. It was bleeding money, so the caretaker government wanted to sell it. But the poll body has intervened. It has reportedly stopped the sale. And you can imagine why. A caretaker's job is to keep the government running, not to sell state assets. So for now, the sale is on hold. Development number three, a major security incident. Terrorists attacked a police station in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Around 10 policemen were killed. Six others were injured. It's not clear who launched these attacks, but the obvious suspect is the Pakistani Taliban. They have launched similar attacks in the past. The question is, will they do the same on voting day? It's entirely possible. And our next development will tell you why. Number four, the rise of terror parties. One of them is the Pakistan Markazi Muslim League. It's a proxy of 2611 mastermind Hafiz Saeed. Most of their candidates belong to two groups. They're either related to Saeed or they're linked to banned groups, like the lashkar e toiba or the jamaat dawa since those groups cannot contest elections, the Markazi League was made a proxy. Among their candidates is Hafiz Said's son. He's running for, from a constituency in Lahore. Now I know what you're thinking. It's just one party. Well, it's not. Let me introduce the TLP, the Tehreek e Labek Pakistan. It's a hardline Islamist party with links to extremism. And what's their campaign pitch? Listen in yourself. <laughs> तो अल्लाह की जात पर हमें मोमिन है हमें भरोसा होना चाहिए और जब इस्लाम ताक पर आएगा तो इंशाल्लाह ये सब चीजें खत्म हो जाएंगी थाउजेंड्स ऑफ पीपल अटेंडेड देयर रैली सो यू कैन नॉट कॉल इट फ्रिंज इट शोस हाउ रैडिकलाइज्ड पाकिस्तान हैज बिकम बट डू नॉट वरी इट्स नॉट ऑल डार्क एंड ग्लूमी ओवर देयर वी हैव सीन सम लाइटर मोमेंट्स टू सम बाय डिजाइन सम मे बी नॉट लाइक दिस मैन हु इज कैंपेनिंग ऑन अ कैमल ही क्लेम्स टू रिप्रेजेंट फार्मर्स और दिस गाय मिस्टर एग प्लांट हिज नेम इज आमिर मुगल ही इज कैंपेनिंग विद एन एग प्लांट इन हिज हैंड you may ask why because that's his election symbol <laughs> amir mughal is one of imran khan's many supporters since they lost their bat symbol they have taken new ones in this case an eggplant <laughs> 